This tutorial is all about the halogens and in particular their reactions with group 1 metals and also a little about their properties. So the halogens are group 7. We've got pictures here of on the top left chlorine which is a pale green gas, bromine which is a reddish brown orangey liquid which um, is very volatile and therefore makes a lot of vapor at room temperature and then we've got iodine here which is a, a sort of silvery black solid uh, again makes a bit of vapor uh, when it's heated, purpley vapor when it's heated. Here is group 7 in the periodic table so we can see that we've got fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine all linked by the fact they've got similar atoms with seven electrons in the outer shell. So we've got nearly a full outer shell. All of them would react and try to gain an additional electron to get a full outer shell, which would be more stable. There's some facts you need to know. You need to know the physical appearance of the group seven elements, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. So I suggest you learn those colors. Chlorine green, bromine orange, it says. I might not necessarily agree with that, but they say it's orange and that iodine is gray and then you need to be able to predict the properties of elements on either end of the group based upon what you know about those three. So for example, the physical properties, melting point, boiling point, and how they behave in what are called displacement reactions. Because each of these elements has got seven outer electrons, uh, taking for example chlorine with its seven outer electrons here, that makes it very unstable, it can't exist as an atom on its own and therefore what it does is it overlaps with another chlorine atom with its seven electrons, making a covalent bond between the two chlorines, so we might write it Cl-Cl, um, but generally speaking we write it as Cl2, we say they are diatomic that's the same for all of the halogens. In this past paper question, we've got a table of information about the group seven elements and various gaps in there. It says complete the table to show the color of chlorine and the state of bromine. Well, the color of chlorine is something you need to know. It's green. The state of bromine you may know is a liquid, uh, but you could work it out from the melting and boiling points in that by the time we get to room temperature, which is around about 20 degrees, then it's already melted but not yet boiled and therefore it's a liquid at room temperature. Complete the table to estimate the melting point of astatine and the boiling point of fluorine using ideas about trends uh, down the group. Now here we've got fluorine uh, at minus 220, uh, then it goes minus uh, 101, minus 7, 114. It's increasing all the time. I guess these are about a hundred apart in each case, so it wouldn't be a bad guess to suspect that the next one would be about a hundred higher. So let's go for about 220, let's say. And then for the boiling point of the other one, it's dropping as we go uh, up the group. It's dropped here by about, uh, about 150, uh, about 130 by about 80, so dropping maybe by about 40 or something like that. I'm going to go for around about minus 75, something like that. Here we've got an outline of the periodic table. Which symbol shows an atom with a full shell of electrons? Well, that one will be this one, which is uh, argon. Well, the one in group 7, this is what we're interested in, uh, we've got fluorine or iodine, but the one which is a dark grey solid is iodine. And the one with the electronic structure 27, well, that's going to be um, in group 7. So it's one of these ones, uh, but it's also in the second period because it's got two numbers here. So 1, 2, this is going to be fluorine. And there's our answers, and there's only one possible answer for each of those questions. Another question about the properties of group 7. Uh, it says fluorine is a halogen with an atomic number of 9. Predict the melting point of fluorine. So here again we've got the information. It seems to be uh, as we go from iodine to uh, bromine, it's dropping by about 120-ish. And then it drops by about uh, nearly 100. So it's dropped by about 80. Uh, so that's going to give us a figure of around about minus 180 or thereabouts and then um, 
Astatine's a halogen with an atomic number of 85, so that's at the other end. Predict the atomic radius for astatine. Okay, so we're going this way now. 99 to 114, that's gone up by 15. That's gone up by about uh, 20 or so. Probably add 25, let's say. So let's go up to about 158 picometers. Well, I said minus 180 and 158, so I was pretty much in the centre of the range for both of those two. The next piece of work is about the reaction between uh, metals in group 1 and halogens in group 7, making what are called metal halides, because the halogen makes an iron called a halide iron, which has got a 1 minus charge. And you'll be expected to write word equations at foundation, but also uh, balance symbol equations uh, given no hints whatsoever at a uh, higher level. If you look on YouTube, you'll see videos of some of these reactions, but uh, you'll just have to take my word for it that sodium reacts quite vigorously with chlorine, very vigorously in fact, and burns with a white flame and leaves behind a white powder of sodium chloride. So these will react to make sodium Chloride. Now you're expected to know the formula of sodium chloride, which is NaCl. You're also expected to know the symbols, or you can pick these off the periodic table for sodium and chlorine. But of course, chlorine gas, as we said before, is diatomic Cl2. So we need to have two chlorines on the right-hand side as well, which gives us two sodiums also on the left-hand side. For all the other combinations of group 1 and group 7, we're going to have similar kinds of compounds. So if you react lithium with bromine, you're going to get lithium bromide. And because lithium is in group 1, it makes a 1 plus, and bromine's in group 7, makes a 1 minus. Again, we're going to have a 1 to 1 LiBr. The lithium, of course, is Li, and the bromine is Br, but again, like chlorine, diatomic, so we need to have two of these and two of these. And I suppose if you use potassium and iodine, you'd get potassium iodide, which would be Ki, and so on and so forth. Another past paper question about elements in group 7, they're the halogens. Two examples are chlorine and iodine. One of these is an orange liquid at room temperature. Uh, now it's what, not chlorine or iodine, this one would be bromine. And look at the balance symbol equation between sodium and chlorine. They always do these funny L's so they don't look like uh, ones. Write down the name of the product of this reaction, that would be sodium chloride. And there's the answers, it's bromine or its formula and sodium chloride.